baby, they won't ignore us. It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it. We in the building for the new year. Happy New Year to all of my Taurus babies. Listen, it's 2021. We came to have fun this year. Yes, indeed. Listen, I hope all of you guys, you know, brought in your New Year's in a very festive and happy and grandiorous way. I know that ain't no damn word. Don't ever go and repeat that. I don't, 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 don't tell them you heard it from me. Okay, don't tell them you heard it from me. So listen, I just wanted to come through real quick and just, again, give a big shout out to all my OGs, my newbies, to every last one of you guys who have liked, shared, and subscribed to any of my videos. If you guys would like to connect with me for a personal and private reading or just so, some love and support to the page, go ahead and check the description box of this video or you can skip on over to the About tab on my YouTube page. I only do video readings and I typically do it on Google on Google Hangouts or on Instagram Messenger. So the best way to contact me is by Instagram Messenger. If you don't have Instagram Messenger, shoot me an email at scorpionrays at gmail.com. For the people that do not have Instagram and they want a um, reading with me, I use Google Hangouts for the video readings because the only information that we need to exchange is our email. And then we can connect for the video reading. So Again, big shout out to all of you guys for sending all of the love and light throughout 2020. Let's get to this energy for 2021, all right, Taurus? So listen, we're going to give thanks to Father God, to the Creator, to the universe, wherever you want to call Him, as we always do before we get into this energy, boo. So bow your heads with me. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Taurus. Father God, they won't ignore us. Listen, we're walking straight into our blessings. You understand? Father God, we're done with the lessons. Hello. Listen, we are here to claim victory over our life and we are having fun in 2021 we're not letting nothing upset us in the words of Lonnie B let no hoe upset you okay father god excuse me language you know we just had to you know had to get a little ghetto real quick we had to get a little ghetto you know no no so father god just give us the guidance that we need today to continue to you know walk with high esteem and pride and just claiming victory over ourselves and everything that we're trying to do. Please give us the guidance that Taurus needs to receive, to believe, you know. So God, thank you again. Please give us the guidance that we need for January 2021. And um, thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. Let's get to it. All right. So this is my new Edgar Allan Poe deck that you guys sent to me last month. That is a brand new addition to the table. So again, thank you guys for all of the love and support. And to everyone who's been sending decks and just things through the Amazon which is So I really appreciate it. So let's get some guidance for Taurus. Father God, can you please give us guidance for Taurus for January 2021? All right. And let's get three cards for the general energy three cards let me see what was that that just flipped over here oh you got the three oh ooh. you got the will of fortune and the ace of wands in the name of jesus now come on that Taurus. you better come on and start off like that you better come on and start off like that listen you said listen i am here i'm destined for good fortune and fate I'm on a new path. I've been studying. I've been learning. I got a brand new spark of light and new ideas for what I see me doing in 2021. Oh, honey, I came here to have fun. I might have been on a down swing in 2020, but honey, on 2021, everything is going up. Okay? Everything is going up. All right? Divine destiny. Destiny. Divine timing. All right? You guys have been studying. You guys have been reaching researching something about yourself um i want to say you guys have been really going inside deeply and been trying to focus on your path and your true destiny and your, your true destination where you fit at you've learned a lot about life in 2020 that's the only thing i'm gonna say and it changed your destiny in the future i i wouldn't be surprised if you guys end up moving I really won't be surprised if you guys end up moving, um, living in some type of new location. It's like somewhere you never lived before. I really do see travel here. Seriously. And also, um, it's like, um, you guys have been researching a place where you fit in, where you can like seriously grow. 
What is this? This is the Page of Swords. Ooh, the Page of Swords in the reverse. Page of Swords isn't... This is like the spy card. This is like uh You need to watch your surroundings, Taurus. Because with all of this good fortune and all of this beautiful things that's destined to come into your life, finally wake, making its way to you, you... It's like an enemy on the premises here that you may need to watch out for. I want to say this is a female. She's been keeping a close eye on you. Um, I want to say that this person may have manipulated you in the past in some type of way. Um, you don't know what to say to this person at this time. I want to say that you guys don't talk to each other anymore. This person could have been cut out of your life for whatever reason. I really don't think that you like this person's energy. You felt like this person was immature. Um, could have been very sharp in regards to the things that they say out of their mouth that they let roll off of their tongue. I don't want to say that the things that they weren't saying wasn't right. But it's like the way that they were coming at you it was a tad bit abusive, you know. And... I want, yeah, I feel like you cut this person out of your life, but this person is still watching you especially as all of these new things are coming into your life and you are like glowing right now i really do feel like you guys are glowing taurus you're extremely smart and you know where you're headed and all of that stuff so i want to say you're carrying yourself with a lot of pride and you're claiming victory over your life i don't think that she likes that like, where the fuck Taurus get all this strength from? Uh, where, where, where did Taurus come from with all of this ability from? They wasn't that smart. Like, who's been teaching? Who's been talking to Taurus? Like, they just, this is someone all deep, all off in your ass. I mean, they in your business. They they all up in the crevices of your ass, okay? Let me try. <laughs> Girl, what the, let me see what's at the bottom of the deck, bitch. And then you got the two of cups, the lovers. So this could have been someone that you had a relationship with in the past. They probably felt that... Y'all were destined to be soulmates or something like that. But clearly you don't cut this person out of your life. You could be coming into close contact with a true soulmate this time. So I want to say, and again, like to me, this is like the spy. This is the enemy card. This is someone needing to um, upgrade their um, alarm system. You know what I'm saying? Well, you need to get an alarm system. You know, like it's like watching eyes. So... Um, it's like, y'all need to get like a ring, a ring system or something like that. I just, mm -mm. let me take this lover's card because I, I've had to look at that. All right, so we got the Edgar Allan Poe uh, playing card deck. Let's find out what's going on. It's like someone is watching you getting, like someone is watching you take this new pathway and falling in love with someone else. And it's like they're 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 getting angered. It's like the anger is building by the minute, by the second, or something like that. It's like you cut me off for of this. You stopped talking to me because you found new love, or because you were trying to find yourself. You were trying to leave me. You were trying to go to a new destination. You were trying to reclaim your path and your destiny and all this bullshit. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Like, this person does not understand what the hell is going on. And they are going to find out where in the hell did all of this, like, new fluctuation of positive energy come from with Taurus. Like, where, where did all of this bravado and all of this self-love and peace and happiness, like, what the fuck? <laughs> the hell are you so happy for? What you mean you're following your destiny? What the fuck? Oh, my gosh. Clarify this. Give me, I guess, give me three cards. Give me three cards. I, I was doing two, but give me three because I done took an extra. So, you got the King of Diamonds. Look, we already know that the, uh, we already know that the Taurus, the King of Diamonds and the Queen of Clubs. So, this is a good, this is a good match here. This is a good match here. The King of Diamonds is someone that is very intuitive highly intelligent um oh they said pleasure meets the eye when they came across this queen of clubs the queen of clubs is like a mixture between 
the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles is someone that always has these ingenious ideas that's always creating something. Do you understand? Like, she's a family woman. She loves to take care of and nurture people. Um, she's she's definitely a mother. Whoever this person is, is, is a mother, takes very good care of their kids. But with this queen of uh clubs energy here she's a very active person like she lives life like you can see her everywhere are you it's i don't know why i feel like you can see signs of her everywhere or something like that like um it's like she's marketable or she's very good at whatever she does um a lot of people love her she's very very popular so whoever this is is has extreme popularity has extreme beauty has a beautiful home, has beautiful kids, even outside of her home life. She has a very popping and lively social life. You know what I'm saying? So she could be a social butterfly, um, a person of high prominence and of importance in some type of sector of life. Like this is a very important woman. She has a, a hat that she wears very proudly. And she exudes extreme beauty. So when y'all just told me pleasure meets the eyes, this king of pinnacles, this king of swords, that's what the king, that is because the king of diamonds is a mixture of the king of pinnacles and the king of swords. You know, this man could be a loner right now. Um, he is very independent. He likes to take care of himself. And he thoroughly researches people before he gets involved with them. He only deals with very truthful, honest people. Even if it hurts, even if the truth hurts, he'd rather you tell him the blunt truth than to sit there and lie to him. He don't deal with no fairy tales and falsehoods. He don't deal with no manipulation. He will cut you the fuck off. And if you ain't got something going for yourself, he don't want nothing to do with you because you clearly see that diamond right there. Whatever he puts his energy into, he wants it to result in something tangible that has worth. Some worth that you can't even buy almost. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because the king of diamonds, he understands that it's not just about material wealth. It's about spiritual wealth. The king of diamonds is extremely, extremely influential. And the things that he has to say, he influences a lot of people because he's spiritually aligned. Extremely intelligent. So this is a good match here. This is a good match here. You talking about the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Wands? Yes, with this match right here. This was a match made in heaven. This was destined. You know? So whoever this was had to go through some self-learning, through some self-repair, through some self-healing, had to start their whole life over for them to even meet this type of energy right here. For this to meet right here, oh yes. Oh yes. Like you had to thoroughly go through something and change yourself and uplift yourself. And now you have this brand new spark of life going on. You got the two of cups, but then let's find out what's going on with these pages of swords. This right here is explaining to me the will of fortune, the ace of wands, and the two of cups. What? Okay, we're reloaded. So, mm, the eight of clubs says to observe attentively and to remember it distinctly. Didn't I tell you that this king of diamonds, he observes, right? And it says, remember distinctly. So again, whoever this, whoever this page of swords is, look at her. It's like she's studying you, Taurus. She is watching you. And I'm talking about she's knee deep in every crevice of whatever access she has to like your resources. I don't know. It's like. Whoever this is has access to some type of uh, or resource that gives the feeds them information or something like that. It's something like that. So what this is telling me, the eight of clubs is to me, um, I want to say security. It's like secure. And then you got the ace of clubs at the bottom. So again, that's again, new beginnings, new outlook of life new prosperity, new abundance. So what this eight of clubs is basically telling me is that this represents work. So 
you guys did put a whole lot of work in to um, influence a new dimension of communication coming to you. It's like you want all high vibrational influences and communications around you. You don't want no fluff. You don't want no bullshit. You've put an extreme amount of work in to change yourself and then change the environment around you. Um, the two of the two of diamonds to me represents like an invitation. Um, like you're being invited, you're being initiated, um, into a new group. It could be banter, talking, throwing ideas back and forth. Um, I, again, I'm just getting like an open invitation to communicate. Uh, it's like a mutual exchange almost. And it could have something to do with work. Um, either you put a lot of work in to open up these lines of communication to finally come into you again like we got the Wheel of Fortune we got the Ace of Wands so this is destiny you want a new path someone putting a lot of work in understanding the quality it's like okay this is what I'm getting the quality that you put out you'll get back in that's why this person was putting a lot of work in to their self because we're talking about the Taurus here so we got the Taurus man, male energy right here with this king of diamonds. So if I want quality, I have to exude that quality within myself. I have to be smart. You know, in every step that I do, it has to show reflection of my intelligence, of my worth. You know, sometimes certain people don't get certain blessings coming to them because they don't feel like they're worthy of it. But why? It's either something that you're doing or something that you needed to change to make you feel worthy of these blessings. And whoever this is, they definitely did it. And you are attracting like-minded individuals. This person, Taurus, may be just like you, but not. You know what I'm saying? It's like the complete polar opposite of you. You know? This person, this man, is about intelligence and material worth and gain. This woman is about uh, creativity, beauty, athletic, <laughs> okay, she's athletic, so this woman might like sports and all that shit, and material, luxury, and game, so they're the same, but a tad bit different from each other, let's get some clarification, okay, in regards to the, let's do the two of diamonds first, since I'm already right here, the two of diamonds, intellectual exchanges, Financial partnership, a small money card, the payment made or received, a written correspondence, financial news, a statement, a bill, insurance paper, a written report, independence, a fertile imagination, a writer, a journalist, financial help or loan, the stomach, food, the kitchen. Now, didn't I tell you that this woman cook her ass off. Now, I ain't even about to play with you on that. I'm just about to let it go. So, let me tell you something. And if there's any woman that's on here that's cross-watching, that's dating a tourist man, if you want to know how to get to his heart, baby, you better go in that kitchen and cook with your soul, baby. I ain't even got to... I ain't even got to... Listen, no cap, okay? I ain't even got to go into that in, any more deeper. Because any tourist man, they will tell you, if you can cook, you okay in his book, okay? The eight of clubs represent your day-to-day -day activities or routine. It indicates how someone spends their time. Most people spend the greater part of their day working. So this is also the work card. It can also represent a job or what one does for a living. This card can also denote working something out. It can also be the card of a business or social sharing. In, um, uh, I can never say this word. Reciprocation, I'm sorry. Um, it can indicate conversations and discussions, a meeting, a conference, a seminar, a symposium, a forum, a roundtable discussion, etc. Didn't I tell y'all y'all were back and forth communicating, going over options? I want to know what's going on with this page of swords right here. Father God, give me guidance here. I don't know. I mean, a page of swords could be someone that's deep into research, though. It's like, um, but I do feel like someone is watching you. I'm not even lying. What is this? You got the pen, creation. You got the grapes. And 
you got the grapes in the reverse satisfaction i really don't like reading these in reverse but i'm gonna take it how i need to take it um again it's like someone's not you're creating something new we clearly see that with the ace of wands and the wheel of fortune it's like things are finally coming along the way that you see it Ooh, mystery Ooh, ooh. You done jumped down the rabbit hole, okay? All right, Mr. Alex, Mr. A Alex in Wonderland, okay? What is this? The bones, indestructible. The diamond. Ooh, that's saying commitment and promise. Give me one more card, please. One more. Ooh, and then you got the service card. I didn't even realize that this was up in, up in the card. Okay, I am reloaded. So, you guys are creating something. This pen is like manifestation. It's like you're writing into existence, like your wants, your dreams, your wishes. I don't feel like um, you've been quite satisfied with the outcome of how things have been going in your life. That's why you've been creating something new. It's like, let me just write this down. Let me draw a picture. Let me do something so I can have a visual sense of what, like you guys could be doing a vision board or something. And I also want to say you guys could stop drinking. You could have stopped or slowed down drinking. It's like someone drink too much. And whatever it is that they're trying to create, it's like they don't want to put a bad taste in anybody's mouth with the way that they come off or their inability to do things based on some type of addictions or, or a toxic behavior or something. And it's like you guys realize that that's why I haven't been satisfied with life. There's certain things about me that I need to release and let go in order for newness to come into my life. And you haven't been satisfied. That's why you've been trying to create something new. You understand? So right here with this rabbit hole the mystery and again you see like this person is following a drone into this mysterious cave or something so i want to say you guys are walking into the unknown i've never seen this person before i've never been around this type of person before i've never had this type of opportunity before i've never witnessed anything like this before i've never seen a drone I've never even seen this hole. Where the hell does this lead? Like, I want to say, like, you're kind of scared, but you're more bold than scared. It's like, it, y'all know that Taurus energy. It's like, they don't back down from a challenge. So any, even though, like, this person may have some reserved feelings about what may be on the other side of this journey, it's like their intuition is telling them to follow it. Because it's leading to something new. You've never seen this type of technology in your life. You've never seen a fucking drone. Like, what the fuck is a drone? You know? So, like, this is someone. Because if you look at this person's... If you look at this person's clothes, this looks like some old, old biblical, like, <laughs> clothing or something. Like, what people in the 1400s used to wear at bedtime or something it's a fucking drone flying around in the 1400s like it's some alien shit or something it just seems something it's something that only god can create like this wasn't created by man do you understand this was not created by man this has to be faith it's like a messenger or a spiritual god or something that piques your interest and makes you follow it down this mysterious path that leads you to your destiny. And because of your aptitude to not have fear, it's like you follow it. And I believe you're following it to a good place. You got this, the bones, the indestructible here. So... What this is telling me, with this coming out in the reverse, um, they're saying something about how fragile the mind is. They're saying something about how fragile the mind is. It's saying like you got to protect your thoughts. You got to protect your thinking. You have to steadily stay encouraged. Because if you don't, like, it's something about someone that has a fragile mindset. 
I want to say it could be easily broken based on the information that is being told to you. I, 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 that's, that's why they're saying it's like a spirit guide or something is leading them away from some old existence into like a layer of hope and blessings which leads this person to their destiny it's like this person has it's like fragile it's like i feel like your train of thought could easily be broken and it's like you know that and god knows that you got the diamond here with the promise so it's like I know you have the guts I know you have the skills I know that you are encouraged but I want to say that God is trying to lead you away from some past existence and it's like God is promising you like commitment a certain standard a certain quality of life I want to say you have to strengthen your thinking. You cannot be so easily broken. It has everything to do with the mind. It's like the mind was broke and had to be fixed. And I want to say it was like someone wasn't thinking straight for some reason, for some time. And that's why I feel like this need to create... Um, to jump into the unknown. Because I want to say it's like you can't stay here any longer in this mindset with this fragile thinking and this not want or believe to make things different. It's like God had to lead you out of that. So I want to say he put some strange things around you that he knew was going to pique your interest. Because you would follow it. And once it led you to the right path and got you in the correct place where you can fix your mindset, it's like the promise that God has been given to you, it will be granted. And again, with this service card right here, I don't know if this is someone that has been looking for work. I don't know. I feel like someone has been trying to find like some job security or something like this has something to do with job security this this right here has something to do with job security it's like um the mind being easily broken because it's just like a complete rejection of opportunities i want to say like in the work sector so it's like someone kind of felt like they weren't that strong because um the promise of money and of luxury and of a beautiful life is what this person has been praying for and they just can't seem to reach it. And there was a battle within the mind, the body and the soul of the worthiness. Like, do I think I can do this? Am I good enough? And it's like, you are good enough. You got to control your mindset. And it's something that you were doing and it could have been a drinking or something like that. It could have been some level of substance abuse here because I am getting like something about someone having to stop drinking. Because the reason why there wasn't some satisf satisfaction in some area in their life, it has something to do with some level of substance abuse or something like that. And that's why you were being led away into this mysterious lair. You know what I'm saying? I want to say of protection. It, and it could have easily been like him following his queen. Having this banter and this conversation back and forth, and this person putting the work in. Remember, we were saying that. I want to say that the eight of the eight of uh, pinnacles came first. Even though this is eight of clubs, anyway. Um, I want to say that everything is going to work out, and um, you are going to be servicing people, and they are going to be servicing you too. So I want to say that you're going to get the service, you're going to get the help, you're going to get the uplifting energy that you need to help you create what it is that you've written here on this vision board and again i want to encourage you if you have been drinking too much stop drinking so much because you don't want nobody to look at you a certain way like you're not able to focus you know this is a promise that's going to last a lifetime so put your head in the game Put your head again.
be indestructible. All right, let's get this. Let's get these cards popping here. And we're going to do a quick little reading with the runes and then we done. And I do want to let you guys know I am shortening the readings because I started out with Capricorn. And honey, that reading was an hour and 15 minutes long. And I'm not doing that this year. <laughs> I am not doing no 45 minute hour long. But now I might do a 45 minute reading, but I'm not doing no long ass readings this year. So, yeah. Y'all be like, why it's so short? Because, man, I just, I don't know. I feel, y'all let me know if y'all like the longer readings. If y'all do, if it's certain signs that like the longer readings, I might just come back and just give y'all a bonus or something because y'all like the lengthier readings. But, um, I feel like those long readings are a little bit intimidating to some people. All right, give me, God. Oh, oh, shit. I was about to say, what? Cause what? Okay, hold on. Give me some clarification and love and life for Taurus for January 2021. Please clarify the pen, the grapes, the whole bones, diamond, and the apron. And again, like write it down, take a picture, whatever it is that you want to do. Make a manifestation board, y'all. Give me three cards. The Eight of Swords, Imprisonment. And again, that's, I'm trying to tell you, somebody was trapped in the mind with some type of low-level thinking. It's like not believing in yourself, not believing that you can do it, not believing that you can quit this thing that has been, like, tying you down. It's been restricting you from your blessings. It's like having to get out of a mental prison. So it's like someone was thinking lower of their self. Again, like they don't, I want to say because of some type of habit or some type of past or something like that. It's like they felt like they're almost not deserving of these blessings that's coming to them. And that's why it's like God wants you to train your thoughts to not thinking that way anymore. What is this? You got the king of swords in the reverse. That ain't good. And what is this? The sun in the reverse. So that ain't good. I want to say that this person has some type of abusive behavior. A abusive lifestyle. It could either be self-abuse. Or, because like with the king of swords, and this is the king of swords, right? Yeah, the king of swords uses their intellect and their intelligence to hurt people. They're very manipulative and can most definitely be physically and mentally abusive. Um, but I want to say more so that this person has been abusing itself with like some type of low level thinking. And they've been abusing other people too. I'm not going to, I'm not going to skip over that. This person is most definitely be abusive and has an abusive tendency and lifestyle that they're trying to come out of and get over. Someone in this situation is abusive. Someone feels tied down, feels unhappy, cannot see. You know, it's like this person cannot see any other way of living. It's like I've been this way for so long. I don't know any other way to be. I don't know what else to do. I don't know how else to see myself. Everyone else sees me this way. I want to say people have been talking shit about me. There may be some type of gossip or rumor about someone's behavior with the sun. It's like this person needs to grow up and stop pussyfooting along in life and stop playing around and take things more seriously and really need to focus and try to change and stop going in and out of jail. Also, it's like someone has... A pattern or a lifestyle of continuously doing things because it's like either this person is is going to go to jail because they abused somebody or was being abusive to someone threatened someone or something or this person just may have a pattern of lifestyle in the past where they were like in and out of jail 
uh, with the King of Swords and the Reverse, they may not feel like they're intelligent enough to achieve certain things that will fully make them happy because they might have spent a lot of time incarcerated, locked up, tied down, not able to move, feeling restricted, um, again, tied down by addictions. Like the Eight of Swords is like the devil card. Not okay, y'all just said it's not my fault that I can't move. Y'all just said it's not my fault that I can't move. It's not my fault that I can't move. It's not my fault that I can't move. I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep repeating myself, but it's like y'all that's how it's coming in my head. Give me one more card, please. You got the six of pentacles. So you guys are receiving help. Remember, I told y'all y'all are getting Y'all are getting help. Y'all are going to have someone that's going to be of service to you to help whoever this individual is that has this fragile thinking. You got to think more of yourself. You got to believe in yourself. And you can change. Like, I'm going to be honest now. I, I Because I am very triggered by um, domestic abuse situations because of my background. Not me personally. I didn't experience it. But I was subjected to it and it did change it did affect me but I am going to say that the person that I seen doing this abuse when they made it a point in their life to want to change because they got tired of hurting their self and hurting other people this person when they made their mind up to change and get help they did change and when this person told me that they were never going to abuse anyone again until the day that this person died, this person never put their hands on, on anyone ever again. So it's like once you stop making excuses and you accept help and you make your mind up to change, you can do it. You know, and you got to understand when people do abusive shit to other people, it's because they're abusing themselves. And they got to make their mind up. To release the, tox the, the toxic environment that resides in their own spirit. Going through that dark night of the soul. Not being so fragile. Because it's like. I want to say you can't just say anything to this person. Because they'll pop off. And if they pop off it's violence. You know what I'm saying. Like when this person gets mad. They get real mad. And you can't calm them down. And you can't. You know, like, this person's going clear to fuck off, and they will go and fuck some shit up, you know? And I definitely feel like whoever this is, most definitely does not believe in herself because of some level of incarceration. Them not being able to move or do something because of their past or something of that nature. Alright, give me two rooms, and then we're done. Give me guidance for Taurus. Now, I was about to say, in my head, I said Cancer, and I said Capricorn. So, I don't know if there's a Taurus that's dating a Cancer or a Capricorn. Okay. All right. So, brr. All right. So, this is what came up. Um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce some of these because I'm just not. So, this... um. This means travel delay, lack of change, stagnation. It means someone going through some type of crash, crisis, or irrational thinking, uh, delusion. Um, it's like an unwillingness to move, isolation, loneliness, feeling like they went through some type of injustice or something. This right here represents the feminine energy. Deep bonds, you know, um, renewal, a promise of new beginnings. It also means the spring. So there's someone here that's been going through some type of rigid. Um, it's like rigidness, having a lack of progress. Uh, typically in the upright, this means like someone understands their life purpose means transformation means like a change of setting remember I said someone moving it means a change of setting like 
things changing for the better, justice, you know, um, it can mean, again, like I'm trying to tell you, travel, life purpose, relocation, a lifestyle change, you know, um, this actually means like the chariot. So, with all this stagnation and this non-movement and, you know, It's just basically saying to me that, to me this does represent a male energy. I feel like this person is emotionally unstable, not able to pick theirself up, most definitely going through some level of crisis. There is going to be some feminine energy that's going to come into your life. This means someone that's very nurturing, very nurturing, represents birth, fertility, and renewal, regeneration. So there's going to be some type of feminine energy that's going to come and that's going to change your life for the better. And it's going to make you believe in yourself again. Like I said, the lovers. The lovers. And now that everything else has came out, I want to say that this page of swords is honestly like... Um, Someone being an enemy to their self and not really seeing what they're doing and how abusive their past lifestyle or behaviors have caused a lot of, you know, influx in their life. But there's still somebody watching you. I'm not, I'm sorry. Like, as, as I was trying to change it around, I can't see what I want to see. Like, there's still someone fucking body watching you. I'm sorry. I am sorry. It's still somebody watching you. And then this is the last one that was flipped in the upright. This is like a major arcana. This represents landscape, virtue, earth, your home, using common sense, family, love, warmth, again, fertility, natural order, showing simple strengths. Also means agriculture. So to me, that means that you're growing. And again, someone is moving. Someone's location their destiny the destination is changing so expect movement you guys have been stagnant you guys haven't been moving moving you may have been wallowing in some pity because i want to say of some past abusive pattern it's like someone felt like they didn't deserve love because of the i want to say people that they've abused in the past it has something to do with their past your landscape is changing Stop being so hard on yourself and accept change. Continue to do the work that you need to do to make your life better. And again, I, I believe this all has to do with your structure of thinking. You have to change that. But there's some, it's some feminine energy that is going to come through and pick you up. It's going to dust you off and it's going to make you love yourself again. To so change the landscape, you might end up having another child. Truly falling in love and believing in yourself. Like I said, warmth. And again, something has to do with the springtime. So this is going to happen in the springtime. This is another room that is showing itself to me, even though it did not flip in the upright. It's something that you can't see for a reason. Do you understand? So this right here means livestock. It means possessions won or earned, signs of hope and happiness. Again, fertility, again. I, I definitely feel like you guys are either pregnant with a new idea or there is going to be pregnancy. There's going to be pregnancy. It's like a new life. This also represents property, earned income, Energy creation, it represents family increase, economic stability, good habits are being rewarded soon. Do I need to repeat that? Good habits are being rewarded soon. Deep exploration of the importance of profit in your life. Salary received, love fulfillment, upswing, okay, control and power. Already being won, social success, credit, 
Okay? New beginnings, reward, food. Remember, we're talking about food, food. Okay, bitch? Like, I'm so serious about it. Like, you, for every little single thing that you have done, the little changes, God sees it all. God sees it all. You will be rewarded, but you just, you're not, you're not seeing it at this time. It's coming in the spring. All right. All right. So I got a guest. I got to go. It, it don't even matter because this is what the end of the reading anyway. I love you guys. Taurus, they will not ignore us. I love you. Continue to love yourself. And I'm trying to tell you the springtime, honey, it's going to be so divine. You're going to find the love of your life. And don't, and let me try to tell you something. Be honest. Be honest. Because whoever this woman is, she, God sent her to be of service to you. She accepts you for who you are as long as you're able to accept yourself and make change. Taurus, I love you. I see you in February. Peace.